Tonight, millions of Canadians are once again living under a dangerous haze. It just looks really scary. Alberta Premier Danielle Smith a little earlier on this program calling on the federal government to share the wealth as Ottawa shells out billions of dollars of subsidies for auto jobs in Ontario. Let's bring in the front bench. On this Wednesday night, the big smoke. You can smell it, you can feel it. Air quality deteriorates for millions in Canada and the U.S. More than one-third of the U.S. population from the Midwest to the East Coast is under air quality alerts tonight. More smoke from those out-of-controlled wildfires in Canada is still... It emerged out of the fog, the horizon Arctic arriving in St. John's Harbor carrying what are believed to be human remains, carefully recovered within the... A sight that is becoming all too common. Major skylines like Chicago's blanketed in thick haze from the wildfires in Canada, the Windy City along with Minneapolis and Detroit. They could see it headed their way. This wildfire got within eight kilometers of Leaf Rapids, Manitoba before rain hit. It's been really scary. Uh, first thing I want to do is... All right, let's bring in Jennifer Murphy with the Southern Ontario Centre for Atmospheric Aerosol Research. Jennifer, thanks for joining us today. Do you recall a time pollution has been this heavy in Toronto or in Southern Ontario? Canada is experiencing its worst wildfire season on record. Hundreds of fires are raging across the country. The resulting smoke has blown across North America and reached Europe. Many U With this rise in Lyme disease infections, you're likely thinking you don't want that and you want to protect yourself and others this summer. Dr. Alan Grill joins us now. He's the chief of the Department of Family Medicine at the Markham School.